Okay, time to do a little video on the um, 158 period 19 460. And this was the um, bonus, totally unexpected free sewing machine. <laughs> Amazingly, it's a free arm too. Um, that came with that originally listed white 77, uh, that last free sewing machine. And then there's also the bonus um, Senior Futura 900. Um, not, you know, it's interesting to have the, the Senior 756, which I'm still waiting for the um, pedal, which looks like that'll be here. Oh, I want to say the 19th. I think it finally, it looks like it's finally coming from like Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Um, so that, uh, I think it was the 16th, it got put in the mail. So, um, it's, it's, it's on the way. So, but the seniors, I'm just, I, you know, I'm not too into as much. It's nothing personal for all those out there that love their seniors. Sounds like seniors are great. You know, it's got that slant stitch design and it's supposed to be easier to see when stitching. I'm, I'm not quite the sewist or sewer yet. So, you know, I don't know. And I, I'm neglecting my other, um, Sears up here, the 17 520. And then the, um, it's so bad. I forget what you are. What are you, the 1301? You're the 13011. Yeah, the 13011. So these are the, that was a free machine, free machine. All my Sears Kenmore are free for the most part. So, and the $10 one. But, um, so, let me think, was that one $10 too? Yeah, that one was $10 also. So, <laughs> all right, anyways, I'm uh, just kind of unrelated. <laughs> the three, was it the 360? No, that was 15, because that's all I have was 15. Anyways, so, um, yeah, because he was going to sell me the cabinet and the sewing machine for 20, the three, the Senior 630, excuse me, the Senior 630. I get there, and he's like, I said, well, all I have is 15. I don't really have room for the cabinet. He didn't really want to sell it. He's like, well, if you remove the the pedal and the machine from the cabinet, you can have it for 15 I'm like, okay, I guess I might as well. So I have one to have the pedals working. We tested it. That's one of the few times I've actually tested. I usually don't test a machine. I just have faith, blind faith. And then it happened to be, he gave me that free, the stinkiest 15999 Anyways, I'm going on like two and a half minutes. So let's get back to this. Um, did it come with a bobbin? Um... Uh, case or bobbin doesn't have it came with another but she had mentioned it wasn't one that fit so uh, I don't know what you call the free arm cover for the, the bed um, but anyways looking at this right quick I actually read the manual a little more on this one because I wasn't sure if it's all metal or more plastic so I'm like eh, let's um let's read the manual so I don't break anything since this is my only free arm free arm Kenmore um the feed dogs do drop good so that's good. But I did notice the feed isn't good. So it seems to be that's it's um not uh, and that's a, that's the most feed. So um that it's all stitching like it's on zero feed. They're not much at least. And going back to six, I see the reverse. The reverse is kind of funky. Doesn't seem so. Yeah, I'll give it a little more. Yeah, now it's kind of coming back, <laughs> so it was worse. Now it's, it's, yeah, yeah, that doesn't seem so great. Let's see if that made any difference. Nah, it's just going up and down. So, um, I'll get, um, uh, yeah, sh yeah, shuttles, shuttles in there. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that just needs a, oh, wait. Is it missing the shuttle also? Oh, it might need a shuttle also. No, is that... I forget. Oh, it needs a... needs a shuttle also, I think. I don't think that's a hook. I don't think that's a hook. Yeah, I think that needs a shuttle. Yeah, that needs a shuttle also. So I think that's not only missing the bobbin case, it's missing the shuttle. So I'll have to use one of the shuttles. I'm guessing they'll interchange. I don't know. This one's the center. Yeah, I'm guessing this one almost looks like it's left. It's got that kind of left homing thing going on. 
so I don't know, this might be a center homing one, or maybe I'm remembering wrong with the left homing where it's even further over. Um, so this, uh, let's get back to the knobs and stuff. That's not moving so freely. So, um, all the other knobs are moving good. Forward, uh, reverse, that's for the buttonhole. Red for the most part. Uh, this all seems to be moving. And it seems to be zigzag is, uh, um, there. And move it okay. So that seems okay, but the feed dogs we have to check, investigate a little more. Well, inside, and of course, this, I, I am getting good motion. I think uh, turning the uh, balance wheel, tensioning. This actually doesn't look like that dirty of a machine. It seems like it's fairly clean. Um, I probably can take that apart. If anything, at the very least, I'll run kite stream through there. And um, the tension for the presser foot's good. Now, I want to show, I guess I should, Hobbin's usually not an issue though. I'll find out. This is where I should have read before and noticed this, and for some reason I didn't notice it when not reading real detailed for the other. This is how you're supposed to actually pop the top off where I was kind of dumbass. Oh well, anyways, you live and you learn. <laughs> and like I mentioned in all my other videos, I didn't read that much. This tire looks actually pretty good, so that's good. Screen seems good. That's good. And let's look inside. How she look? Oh, she looks pretty good. She actually nice and clean. Actually, uh, hasn't been greased. Um, looks like, um, can use some oil, that's for sure, it's definitely gonna need oil. Looks dry to me, it looks really clean though. That's really neat. That's good. So this is a little different design I'm not used to. Um, I don't know, does this, does this have like the reduction gear type design going on? I think there is. Looks like a second belt in there, so... A little more torqueier, so I'll um, not gonna be. I'm not gonna be able to, I think, pop the bottom cover off on this machine easy. Um, but I'll get in here and oil next. Um, she's gonna need some oil, and uh, yeah, I gotta oil stuff up. It's stuck more. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get underneath. I didn't read into how to do that at least. Let's see, so I'm guessing that's get a couple screws, one, two, I think there's a third, yeah, third one, maybe, maybe some more, fourth one, oh, could be another one, yeah, fifth one over there, I don't know what that is, three, six, looks like at least six, maybe seven, I say six, six, six of them, and, uh, yeah, get that bottom off, and then that's going to get oil down there, especially for um, the feed dogs. So, um, that's the uh, the Kenmore 19460. I think she's going to be a nice machine to stitch with. Guessing. <laughs> At least guessing. For just a pre preliminary overview. Okay, going on 10 minutes. I'm going to call it good, and... Um, yeah, she doesn't look super dirty though. She looks really clean actually. So sneaking back in there. Yeah, looks looks really good. Clean wise. Oh maybe I'm wrong. I guess that is a shuttle. That would be the hook. Oops. So yeah, the shuttle's present. My, my first instinct was correct. Oh, there's a little bit. There's some dust bunnies in there. Okay, here's, I'm going to find the dead bug for a second. Something on there. Yeah, there's a dead bug. Oh, I think it's a stink bug. <laughs> it's a dead bug. Wow, this is on a dead bug circuit. This is a dead bug. Um, wow, I think I expect that with the treadles. There's a little more. Okay, so there's going to be a little cleaning. Okay, so it's just a bobbin case and bobbins uh, for this one. Those are really common. Class 15 for these Sears Kenmore. 
cool man really good find and i'll get that bottom case off uh, bottom cover off and um start oiling and do another video to update and uh, see if maybe just that oiling will do and then test stitches will be all in one video okay bye for now be safe stay healthy out there especially um, be safe with these weather transitions and whatnot. And then health-wise, too, I've kind of got one of these moments. I weighed in today over 210 pounds. And um, interestingly, I don't know. I'm almost suspecting those cloths are making my fingers go numb washing them. And I'm like, what the hell did I touch or something? Or is it, did I start eating that drastically different? How the hell did I start gaining so much weight? Yeah. Weird. Maybe dietary change or something. Too much carbos, but... I don't know. I was wondering if I got laced with something when I was out. Goodwill shopping, so... Maybe watching too many YouTube videos of, like, patrolmen... Going into like cardiac arrest or whatever it was from being exposed to stuff that shouldn't be like. So I don't go to the Salvation Armies. If I haven't had a good will. <laughs> man, man, that'd suck. Man, I don't know. Anyways, so. Um, yeah, if I can get uh, this weight loss comprehended. I have been eating more carbos, but I cannot believe that many. That little increase in carbos is changing my metabolism that much to gain weight. I don't know. Anyways, be safe out there. Stay healthy, and until next time, Christ be with you.